Okay, so now that we have our two equations, we can set these two equal to each other to find the x value for which uh, these two lines are equal. So set negative 4 over 11x plus 10 over 11 equal to 3 over 7x plus 30 over 7. Now to get x by itself, you have to subtract 3 over 7x from both sides and subtract 10 over 11 from both sides. You have negative 4 over 11x minus 3 over 7x. This is equal to 30 over 7 minus 10 over 11. Common denominator for which is 77. Multiply this top and bottom by 7, this top and bottom by 11. We have negative 28 over 11 excuse me, over 77 x minus 33 over 77 x equals 330 over 77 minus 70 over 77. Okay, so negative 28 minus 33, this is minus 61 over 77 x. This is equal to 260 over 77. Okay, so then to get x by itself, multiply both sides by 77. That gets rid of the denominator for us. So I have negative 61x equals 260, and thus x is equal to 260 over negative 61. So that's the x value. Uh, negative 260 over 61 is the x value of the orthocenter. And then to find the y value of the orthocenter, plug this x value into either one of these equations. Uh, let's plug it into the top one uh, for no particular reason. Um, so the x value, so the x value is uh, 260. This is negative 260 over 61, and then find the y value. <clears throat> so we have y is equal to negative 4 over 11 times x, which is negative 260 over 61. This is plus 10 over 11. So negative times negative is positive. This is 940. No, excuse me. Uh, this is 840 over um, oh man, 11 times 61. Uh, 671. Plus, uh, multiply this top and bottom by 61, right, to get uh, 671 as a common denominator. So this will be 600 and, uh, <clears throat> 610 over 671. So the y value is 1650 over 671. 1650 over 671. Um, let me double check that real quick. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so the coordinates of the orthocenter uh, for this triangle is the x value is negative 260 over 61. The y value is 1,650 over 671. Uh, so that's how you find the coordinates of the orthocenter of a triangle given three points in the Cartesian plane.